Well, I do hope you all enjoyed that process I put together, cause let me tell you, it was not easy. My whole experience with creating a whole sculpt of my upcoming character was slow, and all of that stems from the fact that I'm a Maya guy that can't afford a license, and I had to settle with using free software called Blender, which is not a bad program at all. The principles were mostly the same. You just had to find out every other button and function and get used to really rely on the many modifiers that Blender offers. But it was not the main reason as to why I spent around 3 months uh, making the sculpt alone. No, all of that comes from my terrible use of reference material. As I am showing you here, this is the first character sheet I used to sculpt after. Usually when a sculptor or a modeler start on anything, they start out with a template or a character sheet to follow, so they can have an accurate uh, result of what they're aiming for. And that is as long as the reference material makes sense. And that finally brings me to my own drawing I used as my reference. It was the worst thing that I've ever made when it comes to my projects. At first when I drew it, it didn't seem as bad. That was not until I started sculpting from it. And bit by bit, I found all kinds of mistakes I could only see once I sculpted the model. And just goes to show that the 3D world is an entirely different thing from the 2D one. And it shows how much you can get away with things uh, compared to the 3D one. So even if I wanted to capture my reference as closely as possible, it would still not look as great as I had pictured it. So for the next time, I should try and look at my reference material twice before committing to it. That was at least the main problem. After that, I eventually stopped fighting my own reference and went and made a new one that at least made more sense regarding the proportions and so on. But even that wasn't enough. Because another thing that always set myself back was my understanding on how to make the head. In the earlier stages I would consciously change the head because I kept being unsatisfied with the results, due to also following my abomination of a drawing. So I would sit down and probably observe how the masters did it. I then would look for models that were somewhat close to the style I was after, and the best I could think of was Overwatch. I took my learning over there because of Blizzard's phenomenal designs when it comes to stylized characters, and Overwatch was a perfect example of making cartoony characters that also respected the boundaries of the human anatomy. But when I eyeballed and measured the whole thing, I still went there through lots of trials and errors trying to get somewhat close to what I was after. And honestly, I'm not even satisfied with the model I've made, and I'm bound to make some changes along the way. Besides all of that, there were a lot more problems I ran into trying to figure out the software, and I'm afraid I will be facing a lot more of them when I'm coming to the principality of the model, because I think the model is around 10 million polygons, which is quite heavy for animating. Now all of that was just me ranting shortly about my long experience, and just wanted to finish by saying thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.